Good morning, everyone. I am Isaac Moreno, and this is Colton High's very own, a broadcast show. We will be providing you with a variety of updates about school, weather, local stories, and even worldwide stories. Please join us for the club and sports meeting segment managed by Juan Barron. Juan? Thank you. Hello, my name is Juan Barron, and I will be taking care of club meetings and announcements. For the Band Book Club, they will be meeting on Mondays at 3 p.m. To find out more about the Band Book Club, email their club advisor, Mrs. Leva. For the Cross Club, they will be hosting their meetings on Tuesdays at 3.30 p.m. To find out more about the Cross Club, email their club advisor, Mrs. Garcia, for more information. Then, for the Wellness Club, they will also be hosting their meetings at 3.30 p.m. on Tuesdays. With their upcoming annual wellness fair, more opportunities will be available for participation in March. Here, they will be hosting fun classes, game shows, and working towards their goal of being able to help with student wellness. For more information, email their advisor, Mr. Alvarez. Next, the AP and Honors Biology Club will be hosting their meetings on Thursdays at 12.15 to 12.45 p.m. Here, they will offer volunteer opportunities and field trips. On February 6th, they will be hosting their Thurman Flats Trail Pickup where students can admire the nature around them and help beautify the park if they would like. Finally, with the Marine Biology Club, they will be hosting their meetings at 2.15 p.m. on Thursdays. If you didn't hear your club name and would like to have your meetings slash announcements in our news, let us know by emailing Mrs. Buskirk. As for sports, volleyball will be hosting their meetings every Thursday at 3 p.m. For more information and updates, you can follow their Instagram at Colton underscore volleyball or email Colton girls volleyball at gmail.com with no spaces in between. Now to Valerie Bernales with senior info slash updates. Hi, I'm Valerie and I'm going to be talking about senior information. So first I want to start by saying the last day to order your cap and gowns is going to be February 12th. If you have not ordered them already, you can for $42 at www.herfjones.com. All your cap and gowns will be distributed from CHS on April 29, 2021. Next, your senior ads. The last day for your senior ads is going to be February 19th. If you have not created them or want to create one, you can look into your senior information email sent by Buskirk on instructions on how to do it. Next, I'm going to be passing it to Nicia on freshman updates. Hello, I'm Anicia Ornelas and I will be talking about freshman follow-up announcements. We had freshman follow-ups this week, which went very well. The next freshman follow-up will be Wednesday, February 3rd. Link Crew can't wait to meet with their freshmen. Also, make sure to join Link with Link Crew, which is a social hour for students run by students. This social hour will begin every Monday at 2.15 p.m. The Google Classroom code is YGNUE2X. Link with Link Crew is open to all students and we hope to see you there. Now here is Edwin with your COVID-19 updates. Hi, I'm Edwin Rovelos and I'm here to talk about COVID-related news. So in COVID-related news, we have a free COVID testing site at the Gonzalez Community Center located at 670 Colton Avenue here in Colton, California, 92324. To get tested, however, you are required to book an appointment upon arriving so you can give them a call at 888-634-1123 for more information. Also, our governor, Gavin Newsom, has finally lifted a stay-at-home order here in California this past Monday, the 26th of January, which allowed for stores, gyms, salons, and many more places to finally start reopening with strict rules. Here in San Bernardino County, we have currently about 42,000 people who tested positive for COVID-19 between January 6th to January 19th, and we have totaled about 256,000 people who tested positive for COVID-19 within the year. And with those people, we have sadly lost 1,560 people due to COVID-19. At Arrowhead Regional Medical Center and many more hospitals around the area, they have started receiving the COVID vaccines for their frontline healthcare workers and the elderly who need it. Right now, we currently have no information if they are distributing it to the community. COVID-19 is something very serious and shouldn't be taken lightly. The best things that we could do right now is stay at home, wear a mask, 
and social distance. Now, here's Natalie Duncan with the birthday shoutouts. Hey guys, Natalie Duncan here. I'm recording this video to give birthday shoutouts to people who had a birthday this month. I would like to give a shout out to Samantha Ruiz, our very own principal, Miss Murphy, um, Sadie Larios, Crystal Torres, Isaiah Enriquez, Santiago Martinez, and Jose Acosta. Please, please, please check your emails and fill out that Google survey if you would like to have a birthday shout out in the month of February. Now, I am going to pass it on to our very own Juan as he does a weather report. Bye. Thank you. Now with the weather. Today, we should be expecting showers with a high of 49 degrees and a low of 40 degrees. On Saturday, it will be sunny as opposed to Sunday through Wednesday being cloudy. With Saturday, we should expect high, a high of 59 degrees and a low of 40 degrees. With Sunday and Monday, we should expect a high of 66 degrees and a low of 45 degrees. On Tuesday, we should expect the clouds to start clearing up with a high of 59 degrees and a low of 41 degrees. On Wednesday, it will still be cloudy with a high of 54 degrees and a low of 37 degrees. Finally, Thursday and Friday expect sun. Thursday having a high of 58 degrees and a low of 38 degrees and Friday having a high of 59 degrees and a low of 39 degrees. That's all for weather. Now on to Edwin with CIF and sports announcements. Thank you. Hi, I'm Edwin Arevalos, and here's a clip from Coach V talking about the sports announcements. Good morning, Colton High School. I just wanted to provide an update for where we're at right now in terms of when we can return to play. Uh, and earlier this week, we did get some good news from the governor's office when they rescinded the stay at home order. That gets us one step closer to actually returning to practice and then hopefully playing some games sometime soon as well. We do still have to wait for the county uh, to make sure um, that they'll allow us to return to play uh, as well as the district. Uh, and we're just waiting for them to tell us when they're comfortable with us starting practicing again. Uh, the infection rates are still really high in our area, and so the, the district is monitoring that. So we're just waiting for clearance there. I wish I can give you a for sure answer on when we'll start practicing um, or what sports we'll be able to begin practicing. And as soon as we have that information, I promise you, we'll make it public. For now, if you want to go to our athletics website, Colton Yellow Jackets Athletics, Dot com. Uh, you'll find the actual tier uh, as well as um, on my mo most recent post, it, it includes what sports are in which season and then uh, which tier they're currently allowed to begin playing under. So feel free to check that out. You can also find us on uh, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message either of those accounts. Those will go straight to me uh, and I can try to give you um, the best information, the most up-to-date information that I have. Again, for now, we're still waiting for the district to give us clearance for when we can begin, uh, but hopefully it's soon. Um, the best advice I can give you is to continue to train on your own as best you can. Try to stay in shape. Make sure your grades are right. Uh, there still will be a standard that you guys have to meet in order to play and uh, reach out. If you have any questions or problems, um, get a hold of me. Uh, I'd love to, love to try to help you out in any way I can. And again, as soon as we have any update, on when we can start practicing again and exactly what the game schedules will look like. Um, I'll make those public as soon as possible. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for sending that clip and telling us about sports announcements here at CHS. Hi, my name is Kimmy and my topic for this week is Student of the Month. This month's Student of the Month winner is named Sme. Here is a few kind words from Sme. Hi, my name is Sme, and I was chosen to be Student of the Month in the month of November by Link Crew. I am currently an 18 leader, and this is the certificate I got. Thank you, Sme. Now here is Isaac with Newsflash. We have some breaking news for our seniors. Graduation has been moved from June 1st to May 27th. Make sure to grab your cap and gowns and be ready for the day. We'll also keep you updated on any more changes. This month's Staff of the Month winner is Mr. Esquivel. 
also known as Mr. E. Here is a few words from Mr. E. Hey, what's up guys? This is Mr. E, Link Crew Advisor. I just wanted to say thank you for choosing me for Teacher of the Month. I hope you and your families are all doing well and staying safe at this time. Take care. Thank you, Mr. E. Now here is Emilio with College Info. Hello, my name is Emilio and I'm going to be discussing the college updates. So, so far the Cal States and the UCs are both closed and the next thing on the list is FAFSA. If you don't know what FAFSA is, it's basically financial aid which can get you free money in college. That closes on March 2nd. Um, if you wanted to apply to any private schools, CBU and Laverne are still open but you do have to pay. Now I'm going to pass it on to Thomas Moreno. Hello, my name is Tommy Moreno. As many of you guys know, on January 20th, 2021, the United States of America was sworn in the 46th president, Joe Biden. Joe Biden has wasted no time in office on getting to work. He has signed a record high of over 30 executive orders, and this may or may not be a good thing. One of those many executive orders is to pause the oil drilling and to fight climate change. Biden claims that he will put up a strong fight to reduce climate change and to preserve our natural resources. As many of you guys know, temperatures rise in certain areas and stronger hurricanes will come with severe droughts. This is why we need to make a change very soon and act fast. Next is Crystal Castro with Pickup Days. Hello, my name is Crystal Castro and I am here to remind students about the Pickup Days for materials and food. I would like to start off by saying that the Rancho Bus Loading Zone is open every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. for students who need to go pick up textbooks or for those who need to exchange Chromebooks that are not working properly. As for the food, Coats and Joint Unified School District's Grab and Go's meals will be every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The schools that will be having this will be Bernie, Grant, Wilson, Jobaca Middle School, um, Cooley Ranch, Bloomington High School, Rogers, Lincoln, McKinley, Crestmore, Grand Terrace High School, and Grand Terrace Elementary School. Another reminder will be that the CHS front office will be open by appointment on Tuesdays from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. All staffs and visitors will have their temperature taken. Any person with a temperature of 100.4 will not be allowed on campus to conduct any business. Remember, don't forget your mask. This has been Colton High's very own. I'm Isaac Moreno, and on behalf of our team, we are pleased to provide you with accurate and weekly news. Take care, Yellow Jackets.